Hi everybody. Um, today I'll show you a couple of things to do with popsicle sticks. You're gonna need popsicle sticks, um, straws, a spoon, and rubber bands. So the first thing I want to show you is a popsicle stick catapult for like cotton balls or anything like a ping pong ball, something small that's not gonna break down your house. So for the first step, I'm gonna do seven popsicle sticks and I'm gonna stack them on top of each other. Then I'm gonna get a rubber band and tie it around. Now, if you have tape, you can always use tape, but right now I'm doing a rubber band. Tying it around nice and tight. Same thing on the other side. Okay, that's part one. For the second part, I have another popsicle stick and I'm gonna tie it up to a spoon. I'm gonna line them up first to make it easier. Get a rubber band, tie it a little loose so you can still move the popsicle stick later. Get another rubber band to make it extra, extra safe. Make sure it doesn't fly off. And then I'm gonna push the popsicle stick, pull, push, to make it stick out a little longer so the catapult gets longer. Now, then I'm gonna take another popsicle stick, put it to the end of this one, and again, get a rubber band and tie it up. Nice and tight. Okay, now I'm gonna get this, put the seven popsicle sticks in between the spoon and the other one, uh, and the bottom popsicle stick. It's a little tricky sometimes, but I'm gonna squish them in there nice and tight and then it should look like this. The camera do what I want. My table is really messy as you can see. Okay. So now I'm going to place this on the table. And I'm going to hold the fat part. I'm going to put the cotton ball on the spoon, push down the spoon a little, and let go. And there goes my cotton ball. So you can also make this even more fun by getting a, making a target or a basketball hoop or anything you like to aim your cotton balls at. Second um, popsicle craft today will be a musical instrument, like a kazoo, uh, harmonica. For this one, you need two popsicle sticks, rubber bands, and a straw. So the thicker the rubber band, the better. If it's thinner, you don't get that much sound. So the thick rubber band goes around the popsicle stick. Nice and tight. Like this. Then we're, we're gonna cut off two pieces of the straw. Make sure they don't fly everywhere. The first piece is gonna go under the rubber band, in between the rubber band and the popsicle stick. Then we're gonna put the second popsicle stick on top of it. And we're gonna get a little rubber band and tie it up around there. Doesn't have to be super tight, just tight enough for the straw to stay in. Then on the other end, we're gonna put the straw on top of the rubber band. And then put it in here, get another little rubber band and tie that one up to the end. This one's broken. Okay, 
make sure this stays on there. You can also use bigger popsicle sticks if you have them, craft sticks. Now we have a kazoo, and now we get to try it. Pretty cool. And if you move the straws, you get different sounds. Okay, third one we're gonna do today is make an airplane with popsicle sticks. So I'm gonna do three popsicle sticks on top of each other. Now you can do this with glue, with rubber bands, with tape. Um, right now I just have rubber bands, so I'm gonna do rubber bands. I'm gonna put these together nice and tight. This together. I have lots of different sizes of rubber bands. Small is pretty good because you don't have to tie it around so much. This is the base of the airplane. Now I'm gonna make two wings. It's easier with um, glue and tape, but for today I'll just stick with the rubber band and give it a try. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a rubber band, I'm going to go in here in the corner, tie it around the corner, and go over, tie it around again, and just see if I can make this work like this. There you go. I just tied it around. Okay, so that's the plane, but it also needs a tail. So for the tail, I'm going to cut off a little piece of um, popsicle stick. You might want to ask a grown-up to help you. It's not always easy. You can always break them too, but you don't want to get splinters. Okay, so now I have a little piece. I'm going to make the tail. And I'm going to do that the same way, wrapping around to make sure it doesn't fall off. So I'm going to start in the corner. Go over again. You can ask somebody to help you or you can just get glue or tape. And here is my tail. Now this is an airplane. It's a little boring, but you can get markers, crayons, paint and decorate it. And then that's another cool thing you can do with popsicle sticks. There's tons more you can do. Um, I also will show you a birdhouse I made, but for today, we have the catapult, the airplane, and the kazoo. So I hope you had fun, and I will add a recording of my magic tree bird tree house after this, so you can see bigger things you can make with popsicle sticks. Thank you, hope to see you again next week. Bye. That's a birdhouse I made with popsicle sticks and hot glue. I used a super, super hot glue um, with a scary big hot glue gun. Because I find that regular hot glue, if you put it outside in the sun, it actually melts. Like yesterday, I had to fix the roof of my birdhouse because I thought the squirrels had ruined it. But today, after it's been sitting in the sun, it's falling apart again. See? So I might have to think of something else for the roof. This is all made out of popsicle sticks, craft sticks. So far the walls are standing up correct and nobody has moved in yet. Hopefully somebody will move in and I'll keep working on fixing the roof.